let's learn how to find and assign Seesaw Lessons. Seesaw Lessons can be found in the new Lessons Library. The Lessons Collections will continue to expand and new high-quality lessons will be added each semester. To get to the Lessons Library, click the green Add button and then Assign Activity. Look for the new Seesaw Lessons tab in your Activity Library. This is the new Seesaw Lessons Library, where you will find ready-to-go, standards-aligned learning experiences. Here, you'll see the four collections that are included for free this school year, including the number of lessons in the collection and a brief description. If you scroll down further, you will see the additional collections that are available for your school or district to purchase. Click on a collection to view lessons included in that collection. Let's start with STEAM. Now we're on the STEAM collection page. In the white bar at the top, you'll find links to helpful resources. Click the implementation guide to find out how to best use this collection. The implementation guide includes an overview of the collection. It also includes best practices for the collection. Back on the collection homepage, you can also watch the overview video to learn even more about the collection. Here are all the activities in STEAM. If you know that you want to assign an activity, you can click Assign here. You do not need to save them to your My Library tab first. Or you can click on a lesson to view more details. This is the lesson card. Click View as a Student to view the student template. You can read the teacher notes, including an overview of the lesson and how to use the lesson and what standards are attached to the lesson. Or click to expand the student instructions for the lesson. Finally, you can also click the heart to save the lesson to My Library, or you can assign the activity right from here. Assigning lessons to students is simple. Tap Assign on the activity card and choose one or multiple classes to assign the lesson to. If you want to, you can assign the lesson to select students. Tap Edit Students Folders and Skills and then select the students you want to complete the lesson. To plan ahead, use the Schedule button and pre-assign a lesson on a particular date and time. The lesson will not appear in the Students Activity tab until that particular date and time. To access assigned lessons, students tap on their Activity tab and then tap the green Add Response button. Students use Seesaw's learning tools to complete each part of the lesson. Oftentimes, lessons are completed over multiple days. To save a lesson as a draft, students click on the Draft button at the top of their post. When they come back to work on the lesson, students access their draft in their In Progress section of their Activity tab. Students click on Finish Response to continue working on the lesson. When students have completed all parts of a lesson, they will click on the green check to submit the lesson. Here are the key Seesaw skills that students need to be able to do to successfully complete a lesson. We have created two resources that you can use to support students in completing lessons. Make sure to check out the description of this video to get our printable poster and student handout. Now it's your turn. Take some time to explore the collections in the Seesaw Activity Library. We hope that you choose one to assign this week. Your students are going to love these engaging and high quality lessons. To find out more about Seesaw Lessons, go to web.seesaw.me forward slash lessons. See you again soon here at Seesaw.